Hi, everybody. It's Mark Rushton of, uh, you know, markrushtongallery.com. It is Saturday. Oh, today went by so fast. Saturday, December 23rd, 2023. Rudy Toot Toots and Remy Tum Tums. Watch me paint the Christmas tree in the Iowa State Capitol Rotunda. I'm going to talk about that. And cheers. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you know what? I need to start drinking that eggnog. Uh, Kelowna Supernat so tonight. Tonight I'm drinking Kelowna Supernaturals 100% organic vanilla kefir. It's got the probiotics. It's got because gut health equals brain health. It's delicious, grass-fed Amish and Mennonite cows kicking out the be beautiful. It's so beautiful. Kelowna Supernaturals. Kelowna Supernatural. Dot com. They have the best product locator I've ever seen by a website. So you can find out if Kelowna Supernatural is in your area, which it mostly is. You can find out which products they carry. And if they're not carrying the kefir, ask your grocer today. They also have eggnog, which I have a bottle of upstairs. And... Uh, I'll be digging into the next couple of nights here. Eggnog is not exactly the same thing as kefir, but maybe we'll mix them together and see what happens. Friday, yesterday, December 22nd, went into work, but I wanted to go over to the Iowa State Capitol Rotunda and take a picture of the Christmas tree that was there. And so I did that. And honestly, I was not in the building five minutes. Because there really wasn't anything to do except... <laughs> I forgot part... I had some of my lunch with me. I didn't have all of my lunch. And uh, I forgot to pack it. And so I went over to the vending machine in the Iowa State Capitol. And uh, I thought they had a little cheese and summer sausage... Uh, thing you know this is just a little beef stick small beef stick and a small cheese stick i thought you yeah, know maybe i'll add that to my lunch and that'd, that'd be good and filling and every, low carb and all that sort of stuff i put the number on the machine before i put any money in there four dollars like four dollars are you kidding me i'm not buying that not buying that i'm not buying it guys So anyway, they had this, they had this, I went in, I went into the Capitol. Of course, you know, the Capitol had a little brouhaha a couple weeks ago with the satanic mannequin and, uh, that's gone. And, uh, the, I'm sure that, the, of course you always, you have to walk into, uh, you have to go through a metal detector and everything like that. Take everything out of your pockets because nothing says America like having to go through a metal detector and put all your stuff in a bucket. The, the security guys were great. They looked like they hadn't had that much business that day, and they were very kind to me. But I did not stay for very long. So this Christmas tree in the rotunda, it's a very beautiful building. It's, it's always being worked on because it's from 1873. It's 150 years old, I guess, going on 151. and Well, it just constantly requires a ridiculous amount of maintenance. So they had little, they had little well, looks little but it, i shot this from the from the ground i think and of course they had little uh traffic cones over here because they had some lights you know and they you get to be careful with a yeah uh, you know what do they call that uh they're worried about what are they worried about they're worried about um liability yeah you don't anybody tripping over the wires and everything like that you don't anybody coming in and toppling over the christmas tree don't bring any cats in they'll climb the christmas tree so i thought i would i thought i would paint the christmas tree attempt it anyway not the easiest thing and i'm not sure how to do this here because i really kind of want to do the whole thing kind of a green which is it wasn't green it was kind of Kind of, kind of a darkish greenish brown, but that's no fun. It needs to be bright green. It's bright. Do I have how bright is my green here? I've got a yellowish green. 
that might be that might be a little too much I have a light green I have an emerald green and I have what else have I got here emerald green emerald green emerald green emerald man I have a lot of emerald green that is nuts that is nuts let's get going we got all night here be hanging out with me here maybe what I could do Maybe, you know what I could do? I could put, let's put some, I want a primary magenta. I want, we're out here, this is all going to be flame orange. Because, why not? I want process magenta. I thought I had some scarlet. Here we go. Scarlet. There we go. Running down, running out of. Goodies there. Oh, that's I'm about out of ink here. That's not good. Is there anything in here? Man, there is nothing in this bottle. That's like my scarlet's gone. Scarlet De La Rani. Where am I? I think I'm gonna have to go to Joan to Well that's alright. We'll work on that later. Oh man. I have to get me. I have to remember to get a scarlet. All right, so I guess I've got nothing but processed magenta, which isn't a real red. It's more of a more of a processed magenta there. This tree had a few sort of ornaments on it, but not really. It was kind of a sad tree, you know. I mean. I don't know how to put it. Like these sorts of things, when you got like a Christmas tree in a public space, government building, like a state capitol, I kind of feel like, you know, maybe they should, uh, I mean, that sort of thing could be like a little fundraising campaign for something, you know, maybe some charity or thing, event. And that way, you know, get people to buy little presents or whatever on the... I don't know. What do I know? I don't know. Maybe I'll just do it like this. Maybe I'll just dab it. Dab it everywhere. Got the yellow up there with the... That. I don't think this is going to work. Whoops. Right in the right in the red there. That's not enough in there to make a difference. Let's try this. Yeah, because I mean I think I've been in situations before where businesses or charities or something like that have done little uh, fundraisers. You buy you buy like a little present. You're like a fifty dollars towards whatever, and then they put like a little fake wrapped present on there, and that's gonna go towards the you know the kids or or whatever. Yeah, they didn't they didn't have that. It just kind of seemed like a missed opportunity to me. I don't know. So that takes a lot of work. And who wants to work? You know, I just, just you know. Let's see how that yellow screen's looking there. This might be better than one gigantic uh, better than doing it one color. I will do the outside um, flame orange here in a second here because I kind of want this I want this ink to kind of set up. So yeah, I wasn't in the building long. There really, there really was no place for me to eat. There was like a place to, you know, there's like a, a commissary area, but I was like, eh, this is not in the rotunda. And then there's like a little, on like the mezzanine or whatever, or the staircase, there's a place you can sit, but people were there, and I was like, eh. And then on the main area where there's like the Supreme Court, and uh, 
where they the Iowa Supreme Court meets and the Senate blah 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 House blah 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 blah. There was no place. There's no chairs or anything like that. So I thought, well, I'm not going to hang out here. And uh, took the it was a D line coming by in seven minutes. So I hopped outside and had uh, had what I what I had for lunch there. We're gonna just gonna do this here. I just had I just ate my lunch at the bus stop, kind of like uh, kind of like how Brad Pitt was always eating in Ocean's Eleven. He's always eating something in half the scenes. He's always eating. So this is not that I consider myself Brad Pitt, but I was just kind of like I was sitting there eating at the bus stop, and I was kind of like I kind of kind of like I feel like Brad Pitt in Ocean's Eleven, just eating. Nobody was, it was so dead, you know, everybody, I don't know, I was, does anybody work? A lot of people have the week off, weekend off. All right, I got to put a little more, more orange on here. Of course, that interior is pretty ornate. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. This is a family channel after all, you know. No satanic mannequins in here. I'll tell you that right now. Although if you want to, you know, if I wanted to paint a satanic mannequin, I would. Because I have that right. Because you know what? If I'm going through a metal detector, nothing's, yeah, nothing says Amer being American like going through a metal detector, right? Yeah. I think I played that joke already. I did. All right. Getting out of the Capitol was easy. They had a big door that you go out that you can't go back in. The way out was not the way in, which that was good. Some guy was like, are you looking for something? I'm like, ah, is this an exit I can go? Yes, you can take that exit out of here. I'm like, oh, that's good. I'm getting out of here. I didn't, I did not, I did not topple the satanic panic. That's, that looks kind of good. I gotta, I gotta figure out what to do with the rest here. What are some festive colors? I guess I should throw a, a couple of blues in there, but not many, right? Not many blues. Just a few. Just a few. Don't be so. Try to be a little equitable here with this. See, I like taking the bus. You know, I like going around and the weather's still okay. Um, you know, once it gets into the, th it was like probably in the upper 40s or something like that. But, you know, once that temperature gets down in the 30s, I don't, I, don't, I really don't want to go anywhere. Um, maybe a little sepia. Up here near the top. No, 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 no. Let's make it, make it festive, make it colorful. Let's kind of do that. That that's kind of a mess. I got enough green up there. That's wrong. There we go. That that did it. Um. Starting to mix together here. Uh, yeah, I think I kind of want to keep the beads like that. But the thing about the beads is they're going to run. So what I got to do here with this, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'll do like a two sheets here. Let's see how this looks here. So I got, let's do one. This picks up a little bit. It kind of stops it from spreading, but then it kind of spreads, you know. But that's all right. Let's 
That's kind of cool in and of itself there, right? That's another way to kind of transfer everything. I don't know. Voila! All right, well, let's go in and get a dab a few more of these here. All right. Um, I want to leave some of this kind of still black and white. Because that's kind of cool. Because there's something about, like, the last couple of um, uh, acrylic ink paintings that I've done. Um, I've left kind of the main subject to be entirely black and white. And so that really draws out and emphasizes the, um, the object. And so in this, I didn't paint the entire thing. Bla I, I didn't leave the entire thing black and white, but I left that underneath side there that way, which is, that looks pretty good, I think. Make sure all my inks, lids are on the inks. Got some more inks. I have way too many greens, man. I have way too many greens. Well, St. Patrick's Day is coming up, so there's always that. Paint a Blarney stone or something. That's kind of, that's, that's good. I like that. Now, what are you going to do with this, Rushton? First of all, I got to do this bleed area here. I got a little bit more here to do. So, do this bleed area because I might. There we go. I might actually crop it down almost to the bottom here. So I could scan it and then scan it down here to here and then go up there and I'm not quite sure what kind of a crop that is. That might be a, what would that be? I'm not quite sure what kind of crop that would be, but that'd be kind of cool. I mean, you know, I'm tempted to put a little bit more yellow here on the sides, and uh, I think I'm going to do it. But I'm going to do it this way. All right, so I'm going to... Here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to pre-ink the paper towel here. Because I kind of, I put a bunch of yellow over here. Maybe I should just yellow the rest. That m okay, I'm going to do that. Have to do several versions of this. I'm not going to leave the black and white after all. Not going to do it. black and white
bring in a little color here for the Christmas. Let's see, what do you think? I don't know. It's just art. I'm just having fun. Doesn't have to be anything. Spe oh, this this turned out pretty good. All right, I'm gonna do another one here. I don't want to be spreading around the. Yeah, the great thing about yellow is on ink, as far as acrylic ink is, is concerned, so you got a dark color down, it's not going to turn it yellow. It just is not. But if you got some white space in there, it'll turn it yellow. One more. Let's mop it up. Mop it up here. This could be kind of a, I don't know, Christmas card type of thing, huh? Merry Christmas from Iowa. Home of the destroyed satanic mannequin. I don't know, I'd rather look at a Christmas tree than something goofy. Something something designed to cause problems, you know. I tell you what I tell you what, I'm not gonna be like I tell you what the media the media never does. The media never focuses on anything pretty. You know? I've just made the Christmas tree pretty. It's, it was a bit of a homely Christmas tree. It was a, a large version of the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. It really, it really, again, it was like a missed opportunity. But I've done something very pretty here. Is that going to make the 6 o'clock news? Absolutely not. Is that going to make anybody outraged? No. Is that going to make anybody happy? Absolutely not. Well, maybe, maybe somebody out there might be. Oh, look, you painted that there Christmas tree. I don't think I'm done with it yet. I think I've got a little bit more to do. Let's... There you go. And the yellow? Throw a little yellow in there. It seemed like it just didn't take. How's that? Is that better? I don't know. That's kind of nice. Yeah, the media is not going to... Oh, look, somebody, somebody painted the Rotunda Christmas tree. Made it a little more splashy. Then there'd be somebody out there just go, I don't like it. <laughs> Headline. Stay glued to your TV set. Big. Coming up at 10 o'clock. Our special news story. <laughs> Some sort of controversy that normally you wouldn't care about, but we make it sound really important. <laughs> That's why I don't watch television, guys. Just don't watch it. Don't watch that television. Just enjoy your kefir. Watch your YouTube. Maintain a skeptical eye about everything. Enjoy something pretty, you know. 
There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with it. Make everything more beautiful. Yes. That's what Renoir told Bernard. Make everything more beautiful. He was right. Make everything more beautiful. I think I succeeded there. I made that Christmas tree a little bit more beautiful. I think. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what I think about it later. I might tweak this a little bit, but, but maybe not. We'll see. Let's keep it around. Ah, thanks for hanging out with me. Maybe we'll see each other tomorrow on uh, Christmas Eve, huh? That might be kind of fun. Talk to you later.